So today's topic is titties. Tell me what it's gonna be. So let's start with a little backstory, okay? So I was born very spiritual, very in tune. Um, however, I grew up in a very sexist, very oppressive and abusive cult, religious cult. And they are notorious for keeping child molesters and rapists and other predators out of jail. They protect them in their organization. And it's a very well-known cult. They have probably came and knocked on your doors trying to teach the good news to you. Up. Good morning. Are you prepared for Jehovah's return? Because if you're not, I have a pair for you. That... Well, f you. Come on, sister. Yes, I I'm talking about Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, but anyway, since it ain't about them. So around 14 years old, that's when my breasts started to form, okay? That's when they started to come in. And they were actually even bigger than what they are now. So um, imagine me being 14 years old in this very sexist cult. And, you know, so it was, when my body started to develop, that's when I started to realize that this cult was not the truth, that the spirituality that I knew was not in alignment with this organization. So I uh, I found this out by just like the elders in the congregation, how they were starting to approach me, the things they were starting to say to me. I remember getting my first job at 15, and one of the elders in the congregation joked that I must be working on groups, you know, like, and just, he was grown, like maybe 40s at this time. And this particular person is very well known for grooming young girls. Even though he's married and, you know, that's a whole other story. Again, we ain't here for all of that, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, you know, I would be wearing turtlenecks. I would be wearing bras and my breasts were so huge that I was wearing specialty bras, y'all. Like, I wasn't able to go to Victoria's Secret and get one of those cheap bras, no. I was going to this store out in St. Louis called Ann's Bras. And it was a far drive out. It's like in one of the counties. And, you know, they had to size you and everything. And these are like some big bras. Like, you can eat some soup out of these bras, y'all. <laughs> uh, but that's what I had to wear. And I was still getting back and neck pains from these bras even though they were specially made for my size so it's not like i was wearing the wrong bras or anything i still had a lot of pain so fast forward a little bit come 18 years old i joined the military and with joining the navy i just naturally started to wear more sports bras and i lost a lot of weight so i lost a lot of titties at the same time they were still big um, however, I lost weight, so of course they went down as well. So just wearing sports bras, they did help a lot. You know, I think it's a, a big difference between wearing underwire bras and wearing sports bras, but they both can be restricted. So that's what we're here today to talk about. My journeys with my breasts which are not little, <laughs> okay? They're not little. I haven't been sized for a while because I haven't worn a bra for maybe two or three years so this is my movement the free the nipple movement all boobies matter okay you know it's we really need to get back to loving ourselves loving our bodies and loving our natural selves whether you have small titties big titties lopsided titties they still titties okay we should be embracing our uniqueness all right no more shaming of the saggy titties who cares these mugs are soft and they're beautiful okay i love my breasts i don't care that they hang i don't care that they're lower than they would be if i was wearing a bra you know there are a lot of health benefits to not wearing bras and that's what we're here to talk about today take it slow here are five 
five reasons why you should stop wearing bras. First, bras have been linked to causing breast cancer. And you people are not talking are about this, and it blows my mind, and I know that it's because we're in this capitalistic society that it's not it's being talked about as much, but I'm here to talk like about it, and we need to raise awareness to this, and we should love our natural bodies and stop putting our health at risk for an appearance. Bras restrict your breathing. Our breathing is such a vital force. Our breathing, our breath, is what allows us to control our mind. Our breath is what allows us to detoxify our bodies. We exhale 70% of our toxins. So when you are wearing, when you are restricting your breath, whether that's through holding in your stomach, whether that's through wearing a bra, you're also weakening your immune system. So really, let's sit here and think about how important really is it for our belly to look flat? How important really is it for our titties to sit up higher? You know, like, what's most important is that we can connect and that we can detoxify and we can freaking breathe. <laughs> Shit, I can't even button my shirt all the way to the top without getting nervous. <laughs> I don't know who comes up with these things, but I'm here to break all of that, okay? I don't, mm -mm, I don't care what your society or what y'all people think. This is me. This is what I know. This is what I have experienced, okay? Number three, very important. The natural hang of your breast is beautiful, girl. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Point blank, period. Like, you're unique. It is okay. It is perfectly fine. Love your body in all of its forms, okay? And this is from somebody who has huge, beautiful, perky. Like, I can't even remember what size I was, but it was like... It was at least a G. I don't know why my mind wants to say a K, but it was at least a G. I have some big ass titties, y'all. <laughs> And, you know, once I lost weight, of course, when you lose your titties, now they start to look like some little sad, deflated balloons, okay? So, I naturally wanted to gain weight. And, you know, I love where I am now. I love the way they hang and swing, okay? Um, but it took a lot of me giving myself love in order to really embrace and love my body. And I went through a whole thing of getting extra small and then realizing, girl, your titties is looking sad. And then, you know, and I was depriving myself of food because I wanted to be small, you know. But now I live the life that I want to live. I eat what I want to eat consciously because I'm all about health. But I'm going to eat what I want to eat. And I work out every day. I either work out like a... A strenuous workout like a Lita Lewis workout that's my favorite trainer so check her out she's dope or I do yoga and I'll either I'm a yoga instructor so of course I curate my own flows and I just go with the flow or I'll follow a flow for one of my gurus well from my guru one but yeah so number four bras actually cause your titties to sag more and I don't know where this misconception came that when you are wearing bra, then when you don't wear bras, that you're gonna make your titties hang and sag more. Yes, gravity, but the bras, they don't really do much either because you're weakening your breast muscle tissue. And yes, they're tissues, they're not necessarily muscles. You're still able to work them out. You're still able to lift them and do certain things to make them appear more perky and to um, keep them from sagging so much. But bras are not it. Last, but certainly not least, number five. Why are you paying to be uncomfortable? I know when I was wearing those specialty bras, and if I wore bras now, they would most likely have to be a specialty bra. I was paying at least $100 a pop for those bras. Why? 
Why are you paying to be so uncomfortable? You're paying to increase your chances of getting breast cancer. You're paying to restrict your breath and weaken your immune system. You're paying to be uncomfortable. Bras are not comfortable. I know that y'all get home and you take off the bras and you be like, ugh, thank God. Cause that's how I used to be. I used to be so ready to just get home and take my bra off. And during this transition of not wearing bras anymore, I would have, <laughs> I would try to wear a bra again and I lasted maybe an hour and my whole body was just starting to tense up. I was just, it just, it felt bad. It felt wrong. And I had to take it off. I, my breathing, it just wasn't working. It wasn't working. So once you start this journey, you have to be prepared. So let's get into the third segment of this video. And this is what I have learned with not wearing bra. So this process is really a mind, body, and soul process. It is not all physical because you have to prepare your mind to even get ready for this. You're going to get stares, especially if you got big ass titties, especially if you don't care about your nipple poking out like me. You know, like it's, you're going to get people staring at you. Just remember that these are small minded people. These are people that have, they haven't learned how to show respect for others and how to show respect for women. You know, we have, we are so far from the time period when women used to actually be working. And it was, everybody had a little figurine of a plump, voluptuous woman in their pocket, you know, because this, we were goddesses to everyone, you know, and it's been so long since we've been at that point. And some people have never seen the titties. Some people's mothers were never comfortable with their bodies, and so they never even saw their mother naked. I grew up in a very naked household, and I'm very happy and very glad that I did because I am able to express the whole new freedom to you because of my mother. So, shout out to you. So, moving into our body. If you have been wearing bras all of your life, you cannot just go cold turkey and never wear your bras again. You are gonna have so much pain if you do that. So I am not just telling you to just throw away and burn on your bras right at this time. We'll have a ceremony for that later, okay? <laughs> um, so when you are preparing to stop wearing bras, it is a full process and you have to take note of your body you have to you have to do this very consciously so i recommend that you have a journal call it your titty journal whatever you want to call it and write down how many hours out of the day you wear a bra and just slowly start to decrease these amount of hours this is going to look different for every body so you know i can't give you your time you have to pay attention to your body and you have to do what feels right for you okay so you know i experience nipple pain i have very sensitive breasts you know i've always had very sensitive breasts so you will never catch me with no nipple rings. I don't know how people do it. But that's and so while you're in this process too, so when I work out, if I'm doing jumping and all of that, typically any time that I work out, I'm going to be wearing a sports bra. You are not going to catch me up here jumping and all of that without no sports bra. That's going to cause you a lot of pain too. I'm not so good at that. And you know, if you out somewhere and you got to run real quick, you better hold these babies down as you run. Keep one you know, arm so you can catch yourself. But you don't want to just be running and they just going all over which way, you know, because that can be painful too. So you just have to be very conscious. However, there are exercises that you can do. There are yogic practices that you can embrace that will help you along your journey. And I have videos that are coming out to help you along this journey. I'm gonna be showing you how to naturally lift your breast with a few workouts. And also, it's not all about doing chest workouts. 
Because we're not trying to make our boobs smaller. I mean, I'm not. I like them, so I like keep them. Um, so, you know, it's all about strengthening your back and your chest muscles. But it's a certain way that you need to do it in order to make sure that you keep these, okay? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and then your posture. I'm going to be getting into all of this, so stay tuned. If you really are interested in joining me on this journey to freedom, if you are ready to be free and free the nipple, if you're ready to free the nipple, first of all, you need to. This liberation is like no other. So, you know, join the movement. <laughs> And yeah, stay tuned for my more videos. But I have one more tip that I want to give you before we wrap this up. Love on your breasts, okay? Give them love. This is the most important part of this whole video. It's for you to give your best love. And when I'm saying this, I mean, you know, not just the, the check in the shower to make sure you don't have any breast lumps. Like, that's cool. Do that, definitely, because you want to make sure that you're on top of your health. But at the same time, just massage these ladies for fun. You know, when I get out of the shower, I grab my olive oil or I grab my um, almond oil and I rub my girls down. I rub my whole body down. I give myself a full massage almost every day. I don't always have time. But when I do have time, baby, your girl as well. Take care of. Okay? I'm just here for you. Okay? I'm here to show you how I have reached my liberation and how you can reach yours at the same time. Love on yourself. If anybody tells you that your naturally hanging breasts are too low, you know, they try to call you a long team, you know, nipple having, you know, <laughs> you know, just know that we live in a fake society. And tell that man that if he wants a woman that's not cisgender, then get one. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you support my journey, and if you want to join me on this Free the Nipple movement and free yourself, go ahead and check out my website. Click on that shop, and we have a couple options for you. So we got a crop top, you know, and it's long just in case you got some long titties. Or if your titties is extra long, we also got t-shirts, so you ain't got to worry, okay? We got you. We also got the notebook, so you can keep track of how many hours you wear your bra. And also, put some affirmations in there, okay? Love on yourself. We got a tote bag, so you can put your notebook and your, your t-shirts in the tote bag, okay? We got what you need. And you can also support my music on my website i have other t-shirts and my cds and usb drives which all correspond to my music so please 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 show me some love show me some support and i love y'all y'all have a blessed day So when you are wearing, when you are restricting your breath, whether that's through holding in your stomach, whether that's through wearing a bra, you're also weakening your immune system. So really, let's sit here and think about how important really is it for our belly to look flat? How important really is it for our titties to sit up higher? You know, like what's most important is that we can connect and that we can detoxify and we can freaking breathe. <laughs> Shit, I can't even button my shirt all the way to the top without getting nervous. <laughs>